hello welcome so in this video i am going to talk about exception handling in oic so how we can handle the exception how we can handle the error in our integration so before going to a start first let me go through your situation in which case you can get the exception and then i will explain you how you can figure out and how you can handle that exception so suppose i have created this integration this integration is taking two number right number one and number two and uh, i have done integration for division so here if you will see i will go for test it will return back the revisor of this two number so suppose i am going to try divide divide 16 by 2 it will return back the result as 8 you can see that the result is 8 and the status is success here if you will see if we'll go for 160 and we'll provide 4 it will return back the result as 40 here you can see so right now our integration is working fine but when we try to divide the number with 0 it will return back the exception it will return back the error here you can see that we are not getting our proper result we are not getting the uh, message success message or error message so how you can handle how you can create your integration in such a way if you got any exception till then you can also return back the response message right now you can see that you are we don't have response message we have exception right so what should be like what can be the requirement if you will see we face such kind of issue we know that we can't divide any number with zero so in which case what our requirement is that suppose if we are got any error right so in response okay here if you will see in response what we require is that in response we require something like error error just like in success case we have success message so in this case we require that message status should be error and the value should be null because we don't have any value right now so how you can implement such kind of logic so let me go and edit this integration so first before going to add before going to implement the concept of exception handling in integration or anywhere first you need to identify the stage in which stage you can get the exception in which stage you can get the error so that you can handle the exception over there so right now if you will see i can easily explain you here you can see that we created the endpoint a start rest endpoint using this endpoint we are taking the request and using this mapper we are returning because the response so here if you will see in assign var we created two variables first variable for var for storing the result you can see that var result and second variable var status for returning back the status as error or status as success so now what we have done is that if you will see here in second assignment right second assign we calculated we divide the number here you can see that in second what we have done we divide the number we use divide function in previous video i have explained you how you can use divide function so here we divide number pnum by p2 and we set the status as success and here we have mapped this value in the, in the mapper right in the mapper we map the value but if you will see we are getting exception while we try to divide the number here you can see that we map the same number a status a status result result okay so now we have to handle the exception okay so here we have so first our requirement is to figure out the point figure out the stage where we can get the exception where we can get the error so here this is the point where we are getting error because we know that while assigning the value we don't have any issue we can easily create variables so here we have created two variables but while assigning while creating doing the operation we are getting exception so what we have to do is that we have to use exception concept over exception handling concept with this endpoint so for handling the exception we have concept of a scope okay so in a scope we can uh, write we can in a scope we can add the all the element where we can get the exception or error and for each and every scope we have fault handler so just like in in this java programming or in any other programming we have try block for writing the code where we can get the exception and we have catch block where we can handle that exception so same as here in integration we have a scope so what we will do using this scope we will write the code in which we can get the exception so here let me add this scope so scope revision okay and inside this scope we will write the logic where we can get the error so here if you will see okay here this is our scope here so you can consider this scope as try block 
so in this try block in this scope we have to write our logic so here this is our logic assigning the result using the operation so here we have to use this thing inside this scope so here in previous video i explained you how you can reposition it so here i will reposition this assign into this scope so now you can see that our assignment operation comes inside this scope right now i told you that for each and every programming for handling the writing the uh, code where we can get the error or exception we have try block just same as in oic we have a scope so we write the code in our scope we write the logic in a scope but we have to handle this exception so for handling the exception we have fault handler we have default fault handler for this so here you can see that if you will click on this fault handler we will get one default handler by default so in this fault handler once you will click the fault handler you can see the default handler where we will write the logic in case of exception okay so just click it here in next video i will explain you global fault handler global exception handling okay and so global scope we will discuss now you can see that this is the default handler it means that any exception if we got in that scope the control will come over here so what the thing we required so we want that when we get exception we want to update the variable we want to update the variable a status variable and make it as error okay so assign and we'll make assign error okay create so here in the in a scope we updated the as variable result variable with the value and we updated the status as success but here in case of exception we will update this status as error okay so here we'll go and we will put error to validate and close so here what will happen again validate and close what will happen is that if we got the exception just go back so here for again going to the exception handling part that it means that fault handler part just click on this fault handler icon and click on this default handler you will come back to this page default handler right so here you can write the logic what kind of logic you, you want if you got exception so when we got exception my logic is that i want to update the status variable as error nothing else i don't want to do any operations okay that's why so here we use a sign variable to update the variable values and if you want to go back that exception go back the again a scope just click here this arrow icon here you can also by clicking on this delete you can delete this handler so i just want to go back and now here you can see that we come back again in a scope okay so here we come back in a scope so here if you will see first integration will start it will take the value here we have we have created two variable in, inside this scope one variable for result one variable for status and here we are going to in a scope we are going to assign the uh, division of in in that result variable if we get the exception or we get the error the control will move to this fault handler fault handler and in fault handler we again assign the very use assign variable to update the status variable as error and after that it will come outside this scope so here you can see that if it will come outside the scope we have mapper so here in mapper we already map the result variable and the result variable and the status variable so right now in case of error we don't have value in that result variable but in case of any error if we didn't get any error it will return uh, as the result variable will store the result value by dividing the two number okay so our integration is completed okay so this is our basic integration just go and save close so in this integration we have learned how we can implement the exception handling concept in oic how we can use the uh, scope okay so now we have to activate the integration just activate and then what we have to do we have to run this integration and i will show in this case of when we try to divide the number with zero we will not get exception this time because we handle the exception and we assign the value uh, result value uh, message as a status as error so just wait for a while 
so now our integration is activated let's run this integration so go for test and here in the body we will pass the value so here you can say that if we will pass the 60 divided by 4 it will return back the result as 40 but instead of the 4 if we will assign the 0 we will not get exception this time here you can see that we got error status here you can see that we handle the exception now in previously if you will see we got the error over here but now this time we handle that error we handle the exception but if in log message if you will go and read the log message it's generate the exception and that exception is handled by the fault handler default handler here you can see that here if you will see message received by assignment we created the two variable var result and var status assign result in zero and the assign status with null value and here if you will see in the init here message enter the scope we created the scope inside the right control go inside the scope here in scope we got the error you can see that we got the error and we handle the error in fault handler here you can see that fault handler message entered fault handler of scope and fault handler here we what we have done here in fault handler we use assign error inside that assign error we estate assign the var status variable with the error message and same we return back so this is the integration where we have learned how to use xscope how to handle the exception integration thank you so much for watching if you have any query you can comment below thank you so much